hey welcome back to the channel guys in this video we are going to take a look at creating this really cool role transition inside hitfilm express um so yeah let's get started so i'm going to create a new composition um create a new composition and it's going to be six seconds long and the uh, template can be anything that you want but i'm going to choose 1080p at 60 frames per second and click on start composting and then click on ok and now i'm going to uh, grab in my uh, images you, you can use your video footage if you want to but for this tutorial i'll just use this image and uh, you know create a transition between these two images so let's do that so now what you have to do is i will be basically making a transition at let's do it at one second and just make sure that your second clip just starts uh, from that time um, so we have that and then we also make sure that our first clip ends at one second All right we have something like that and uh, now what you have to do is in the effects tab you have to search for a spherical i think it was spherical warp and let's just apply the spherical warp on our first clip and let's expand the spherical warp and then what you have to do is basically we'll set the scale so we'll set the amount to um, zero and the scale is going to be 100 something like that and then what we'll do is we'll move to the end of our first clip and we'll create a um, keyframe we'll just expand the center of the spherical warp will create a position keyframe there and then we will move back like 10 frames and then we can just change the position of this layer actually so um, just make sure that uh, the rest of the settings are same and then we can just you know change the um, change the position of this image basically or this clip so let's just do that and let's keep on uh, increasing the value so i think uh, that looks fine to me and we can just change the warp y to tile so that we can see where it ends and then we can just you know try to be precise with this something like that okay then we'll switch it back to reflect so just basically that then we'll just select these keyframes convert it to manual bezier then go into value graph and then we'll create a graph uh that will be something uh that will be something like this just move this to the top uh something like that so we'll basically we uh want our animation to be slow at the beginning and then a bit fast at the end all right and then uh with these do the same thing on our second clip apply the spherical warp on it and let's just move to the first frame of our second clip set the amount to zero and scale to be un at 100 and then we'll again create a position keyframe move 10 frames forward and again change the value so this time we will go down uh so something like that should be at negative near about 10,000 so let's just do that so I think there is uh, that is it so let's just change the wrap Y to tile and see if everything is perfect yeah it is so we just switched it back to reflect and again we'll select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier then go into value graph and now this time we want our animation to be fast so we'll just move these handles to the left something like that so now let's take a look at our animation all right so as you can see we have the scroll transition um but uh there is no motion blur in it so um if you toggle on the motion blur nothing will happen because we are not changing the position of the layer we are actually applying an effect and that's why you can't uh, 
use this this motion blur will not work actually so to fake it to fake the motion blur what we can do is we can use the angle blur just apply it on your first layer and let's go inside and just double click on this keyframe let's go inside the angle blur we will keyframe the length so let me just change the angle to 180 first and then on the length we'll change that to 25 you might want to play around with that number and I'll just move back 10 frames I'll set the length to 0 so we have this um, blur going on and then what we can do is we're going to select these two keyframes and we'll just uh, move it to the right like that so I uh, want the blur to begin when the when the transition is taking place so something like that and then we can just copy these keyframes and actually we'll just copy this entire effect and apply it on this layer the second layer again select the length keyframes and just bring it at the first frame so here we want the length to be 25 and at the second keyframe we want that to be at 0. So um, we'll just maybe you'll just select these keyframes and drag it them over to the right side. So let's take a look at it and see how it looks. So yeah, as you can see, uh, now we have the fake motion blur applied on this. And um, you might want to play around with these keyframes, you know, time them properly. And then you can have your tr roll transition. So I think that's the wrap for this tutorial, guys. I hope this video was kind of helpful. Um, if it was, please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.